You know how I know it's like officially summer for me? The fact that there's lemonade. I love lemonade. Lemonade! Hey guys, Tina here. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing kind of a chattier, get ready with me type of video. There's some things that I kind of wanted to discuss with you guys and I figured it would be best to do it in this type of format. Um, I have some ideas for the channel and where I want certain things to go and what better way to discuss it than while I'm putting on my makeup. If you're new here, I'd like to say welcome to you. My name is Tina and I do beauty related videos. Hopefully you enjoy this video and hopefully you would like to stick around. If you would, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified some of the time, I guess, with the way YouTube works on when I post new videos. If you see me looking down here, it's just because I have a mirror here and that's why, but we're going to get on into it here. So first for primer, I'm going to use the Estee Edit Pore Vanishing Stick. I've been trying to get some use out of this bad boy. This is just like a deluxe size sample. I haven't tried the Milk Makeup Stick, but I've heard they're very similar. And this kind of reminds me of the Benefit Professional, which is one of my favorite primers ever because I have craters on my face that people like to call pores. Okay, so primer's all rubbed in. Now for a foundation, I'm going to be mixing two. I'm doing the CoverGirl Vitalist Elixir, which I've been testing out a little bit. That's one of the things I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, this shade is too dark, so I will be mixing it with the LA Girl Pro Coverage White Foundation. So anyways, one of the things I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about was um, my foundation review type series, the Try or Trash. I feel like I'm not getting a very good um, idea of how a foundation works just by trying it out once. So I kind of just want to see if you guys would rather see me try it out for like a week and give a more in-depth review on how the foundation works because I often find that when I do foundation reviews, um, just the one day foundation review type video, you can't predict what's going to happen in one day. You can try and plan it as much as you want, but you can't fully predict what's going to happen. Um, there's been some days where I've been sick and I've had to redo a review or where something comes up and I don't get a chance to film at the end of the night kind of thing and I just I kind of think it would be a better idea for me to do like a try or trash should you buy this foundation I've tried it out for a week kind of thing so if that's something that you would be interested in I'd love for you guys to leave some feedback down in the comment section I'm just gonna blend this in here that's another thing when it comes to the comment section I would love for you guys to like blow that shit up um, I'm constantly trying to think of video ideas and looking at like the way I do my videos is I'm gonna do my brows here sorry uh, benefit goof proof brow pencil here um, the way I do my videos is I look at videos that I like to watch and I draw inspiration from other YouTubers such as my more recent um, husband buys my makeup and the monthly makeup drawers and stuff like that. That's stuff that I like to watch. That's why I'm doing that kind of video. But there's some, if there's something that you would like to see or that you would like me to test out, by all means, put it down in the comment section. I, I would love to do things that you guys want to watch. I find that um, I know you shouldn't like, if you're on YouTube, then you know this, you shouldn't analyze your analytics section, which is like, it breaks down how long people watch your videos and what your most popular video is and stuff like that. You shouldn't 
analyze that, but I have a habit of doing that. I'm a worrier. I have anxiety. Um, I've struggled with depression. I have uh, borderline personality disorder and stuff like that, which if you want me to do a separate video on, I totally can. Just let me know in the comments. But um, I have a habit of like over analyzing things. So in a way, the analytics section for me is like crack. Like honestly, it's like crack. It makes me overthink and overanalyze everything. And it's so easy nowadays with the way the world is. Everything is very social media driven. Like if you don't have a certain amount of followers or likes or you know, shout outs or stuff like that, then you're not successful, which I think is just beyond ridiculous. Like I, I don't do this for the numbers, for the, for the, I, I didn't get into this for money, you know, like that kind of thing. I got into this because it's something I felt I wanted to do and something that a couple of my friends said I should do. So that's why I jumped into this and I feel like oftentimes um, I get bogged down thinking about the negatives of everything. Like the, when I get one little comment on my video, it makes my entire day like Oh my god, somebody actually watches me. Somebody actually values my opinion on things. And I don't want this to be a negative video by any means. I'll probably edit half this crap out. But I feel really rambly, but I mean, I kind of wanted to get it out there that like, I, I do enjoy doing this and I do enjoy bringing things to you guys, those of you who do watch me and stuff like that, and I really appreciate the time that you guys take out of your day to listen to me ramble. One of the things that I'm finding to be um, like a habit is I evaluated my channel because I lost a couple people. And with my overanalyzing, I was like, oh God, what did I do? So I went back through everything and I noticed that a lot of my videos are pretty long when it comes to YouTube standards. They are, they're, they're pretty long, you know, like 15 to 20 minutes. And they recommend nothing, or at least not a lot, over the 10 minute mark. And I have a habit of like rambling, Smashbox, Smashbox 24 hour primer. I have a habit of rambling in my videos because my brain, I swear to God, it moves like a million miles a minute. And I know that my personality doesn't always shine through on my videos, but if you ask anybody, like I, I'm run at like a million miles a minute. It's just the way my brain works and I feel like I'm getting rambly even in this video, but if shorter videos is something that you guys want to see, let me know. If you feel like my lighting was off, let me know. I feel like no matter what I say in this video, it's going to come off as a little negative and I don't want to do a negative video. I don't. I don't want to be that person who's like bitching about YouTube. I, I don't want to be that way because I really do enjoy this. I just kind of want to get a little bit more feedback from those of you who do watch my videos and if you're still here watching it thank you thank you first of all okay so I'm just gonna curl my lashes here on a different subject how are you guys what's going on with you what's going on in your life are things good are you doing good are you taking care of yourself I hope so I feel like self-care is one of the biggest, most underused things in the world. Like, people are so concerned with other people or with getting somewhere that they forget to take care of themselves. I recently practiced a bit of self care and did quite a big life change in uh, in my opinion left a situation that I felt 
wasn't a good fit for me anymore. I felt it just wasn't uh, bringing positive energy into my life. And I know that's going to sound like really hippy dippy and whatever, but I feel like if you're constantly around negative energy, it's going to affect a lot of things. It's going to affect how you interact with the world. It's going to affect the type of energy that you bring in. And this was something that I just felt I had to do. And I still don't 100% have a plan laid out for my future. Um, for those of you that don't know, I am a United States immigrant. I immigrated to Canada, I married a Canadian and moved over here. A lot of things, you wouldn't think it's that different of a country just because it's right there, like especially where I live. I live on the border and it's literally like I look out the window and I see the US. So you wouldn't think it's that big of a deal, but some of the things like for example, education, um, finding out that you need more credits over here to graduate high school than you do in the States, or at least in Minnesota. So um, that kind of put a damper on some of my plans and kind of uh, kind of floating right now I don't know what I'm doing or where I'm going I'm just kind of taking it one day at a time um, the first thing I have been doing is taking better care of myself and my family which to me family is super 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 important like extremely important. I found that with this life choice it's much easier to put them first and be more involved in my daughter's life and stuff like that and that's something I always said I would do. I I have two I have two daughters biologically. Um, I'll throw that out there. You guys this might get a little personal. <laughs> I have two daughters biologically. One of them um, is at home with me and the other one is not and that's as far as I'm gonna go with that subject right now. But I wasn't involved as much as I wanted to be in my older daughter's home life. I was a teen mom and I was working and trying to um, trying to get through school and stuff like that and I, I wasn't involved as much as I wanted to be. So when I had my youngest at the time, I was like, you know what, I'm going to be a better parent. I'm going to be a more involved parent than I was with my first one. And that's something I feel like I've really been able to uh, accomplish lately with my most recent uh, life decision is being more involved with her and her life because I truly believe that um, money doesn't make up for time. Like I could make a, a crap ton of money and until recently I was making pretty decent money but the things that I buy her doesn't make a damn difference if I'm not there to share them with her. So. Um, that was one of the reasons why I feel like I'm being very vague right now. I'm just not ready to put 100% it out there yet and I don't know. I'm just kind of letting my thoughts float out as they come into my head, which is what I've been doing in my life lately as well, is letting things just kind of flow and float and I don't know. Hopefully you guys are still here and watching. I mean. If you got to this point in the video and you're still watching, leave a little thumbs up emoji down in the comments so that I know you're still here. So my birthday is coming up. This video might go up before then. But uh, just so y'all know, I ain't 30 yet. Okay. I kind of feel like I'm starting over right now with a lot of things in my life. And I'm not sure how I feel about everything. 
never thought I'd be at this point where I'm kind of resetting and restarting and starting from scratch, but I'm here and I'm gonna embrace it. I know school's getting out soon in a lot of places in the States, which is like the majority of my audience, so do you guys have any summer travel plans? I would love to travel. Some of the main places I would love to travel are not like your normal everyday type of travel places. Like I would love to go to Ireland. My um, my woo, my dad's family has roots in Ireland, and I would love to go visit. I've always thought it as just this beautiful place. Yeah, so if you have any summer travel plans, let me know. What do you got going on? Because right now, the only thing I really got going on is possibly going down to see my sister. She lives about four hours away, so that'll be a fun trip. I feel like this was a very quick video. I don't know how it'll be in editing, but I feel like this will be one of my quickest videos, which is something I'd like to start getting back into, is making shorter, straight to the point type of videos. We shall see what it brings. That's kind of my attitude towards everything, so. So, I guess that's everything. I'm done. It's a pretty simple look, but this is what I've been enjoying lately is a more natural, simple type of look. Before we get out of this video, I just wanted to stress to you guys how very thankful I am for those of you who are subscribed and do watch my videos. I truly, truly appreciate every single one of you. Um, it brings me so much joy to see that other people enjoy my content. If there is any content that I haven't done yet that you would like me to do, once again, please feel free to leave it in the comment section. I would love to do more videos that you guys really want to see. If you like this video and you think I did a good job, leave me a thumbs up down below and let me know. If you aren't subscribed already and you would like to be, don't forget to hit that little red button so you can know next time I put up another video. I promise it won't be as rambling and it won't be as negative. Usually I'm not that bad. So until next time, take care of yourself. Bye guys.